Hello and good day. Welcome to another video. Today will be the part 2 of this 3D prints that I did so far in my Creality Ender 3. Some are downloaded in Thingiverse, but some are designed by me, and some are modified to suit the design I want. And the link of all the 3D models for this is listed in the description below. And of course, if you haven't seen my video on a part 1 of this series, you can click on the link appearing on the screen. So let's get to it. Before I made this print, I have already ordered this veneer caliper online and waiting. But since I have found that there are models in Thingiverse for this, I just tried out to print one just to see if it's worth it. And it is nice except that you can accurately measure the things you want to measure as the print becomes bent and the sliding is slippery and there is no mechanism that will stop the arms for the fixed measurement as you can see here. Since I am so poor, I have made myself a poor man's audio recording studio. Since I have purchased a lavalier mic, which I use mostly in all my videos, and I don't want this mic to clip into my shirt as it might be damaged if I forgot to take out from the PC. So I decided to print a lavalier mic desktop holder. I printed this along with a lead screw stabilizer and M14 nut. But when I printed this, the shaft fails to print as I didn't see that is floating in my STL file. So I printed the shaft separately. This comes in four parts. The base, the movable arm, the shaft, and the M5 by 25 mm bolt. And of course, my lavalier mic. I've been using this ever since I started to do voiceovers for my videos. But as of the moment, I have upgraded this setup into a more professional looking setup. So watch until the end of this video to see that upgrade. Then I wanted a thing that I can fiddle with when I'm thinking. So I searched Thingiverse for a thing that I can fiddle. So I printed this nested bearing fidget toy. It's sure nice to play with and it's relaxing. When I change my filament every now and then, I don't want to leave them loose. So I printed a filament clip to avoid mess and tangles when I'm storing them and not in use. I get annoyed whenever I see dangling cables around. So when I see my speaker cables very messy, I decided to make a cable organizer. This is my favorite pen, and I use it every time I write notes. It's so handy because it has three colors and one retractable pencil. But since I use it, I have lost its eraser cup. So I designed and printed one. They say sometimes your camera is used by hackers without you knowing and is vulnerable to identity theft. I don't know if that's true, but better to be sure than sorry. 
so I made a laptop camera cover. I designed it and it's tailored in my laptop. But I have made three mock-ups for this until I get the design I wanted. For this first design that I did is too small. It covers the camera and its outside lining is too thin for me to glue to the laptop. Now the second design that I did is too big that it doesn't fit at all and the outside lining is flimsy making it hard to install. And the third design that I did is when I put spaces on both ends for better gluing to the laptop and it's just enough size to fit and cover the camera. When I see that my spatula is just sitting in my table, I decided to print a spatula holder that will be attached to my printer. I have installed this in a top rail. You can install this by taking out a top rail cup and slide it in. I have two shears lying around and it's always open which can cause accidents. This one is free from Creality Energy when I bought it and this one is I bought uh, online. So as you can see here, they're always open and can cause accidents and cuts in your hands. Thus they need to have a cover especially when you have kids or dumb adults like me in the house. So I printed a shares sheet to settle that issue. So as you can see here, it fits them perfectly. I always use my bike going to work and I see that my brake cords tend to go anywhere they wanted and it is annoying. So I printed this brake cord clip to adjust that. To install this, you just need to clip it into the two cords until it clicks. Mm -hmm. 
This hooks in my room seems not enough to hang my pants and other clothes that I will need to reuse later on. So I want to utilize the space behind the door. And for this, I printed a clothes hook that can be hooked in the door. And these last three items I printed, which one of them I modified and designed, is so far the most useful and most requested print from me. This first one is a replacement for my glasses case which I have lost. It's a little container. This comes in two parts, the cup and the body. And you need a screw or a round metal to insert to serve as a hinge. The second one is a twist container, which I am using as a pencil case and a reading glass case. Two of my friends have seen this and they asked me if they can have this also. So I gave the first print that I made, which you have seen in the time lapse, is green and black. So as you can see, this print that was with me is all black. This comes also in two parts, the cover and the body. This is very useful, especially when you're traveling all the time. You can also use this as a container for your shave and toothbrush and other small personal items. Lastly is to address the lovely remark that I did which you see earlier because I tend to hunch when I'm speaking into it and also to reuse those GoPro extension arms that I previously printed. So I have made a scissor arm holder with a pop filter. These parts are majorly from Fingiverse but two parts here is designed by me that is the end holder and the pop filter. I will let you see the parts and how it is assembled, so here it is.
That's the two part series of 3D prints that I did so far and watch out for more upcoming videos that I will be making. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload new videos. And of course, if you have any questions or you need any help or if you have any suggestions or comments, don't be shy to ask in the comment section below. See you guys next week. As always, keep creating. Cheers.